right, quick review on the Rhodesian FAL Bush War chest rig. This thing was ahead of its time when it was designed, and after using it, I believe it's still viable. As is the FAL, but that's a future video. This particular chest rig is reproduction. I bought it for 23 bucks on the Sarco Inc. website. It's super simple in construction and lightweight. With the button snap closers, I had absolute confidence that they'd retain my magazines, and opening the flaps only requires basic gross motor skills, so the caveman side of my brain had no trouble with them under light stress. It's also nice that the magazines don't sit too low in the pouches, which makes them easy to get a good handle on before pulling them out, and yet the pouches are still big enough to where it would not be difficult to turn one into a modern IFAC pouch. I'll say it again, this thing only costs 23 bucks. To test out the rig, I tried to run a variety of drills. On ones like this where I'm moving around a lot more, I purposely left the flaps unsnapped and tucked in the pouch behind the magazines. I knew my reloads would be quicker this way and I wanted to see if the mags would easily fall out, which they never did and that includes the 30 round mag that sticks out quite a bit. As you can see, the magazines only had a few rounds in each of them. This way I could get in more mag changes. Also, I would think the mags being lighter would have helped them to bounce out more, but they didn't. Something I didn't think to try at the time was running a drill where I'd return the empty mags back into the chest rig. I think that would have gone smoothly, though. Uh, the mags are easily inserted into the pouches. Uh, side note, uh, before doing this drill, I thought I was in pretty good shape, but I had to sit down after this one. As the drill goes on, I go from running with the rifle one-handed to two-handed, and as you can see, uh, the more tired I get, the more mistakes I make. This is some of the first actual shooting drills I've ever run, and it was very eye-opening for me. I learned a lot, but that'll be a video for another time. One thing I was worried about in its design is that the shoulder straps ride around the sides of your neck before crossing your body. I've got a fairly chunky neck so I thought this would cause a rubbing issue, uh, but wearing it for three hours at the range and moving around like I did, I didn't even notice it. But your mileage may vary on that one. Overall, the rig forms really nicely to the body. It doesn't hinder movement in any way, and fully loaded with four mags, it's only six pounds. And that weight is distributed very evenly. In the future, with heavy use, I could see some of the seams coming undone, but that will be easily repairable. Overall, I'm very impressed, and I highly recommend this chest rig. You can't beat it for the price, and in my opinion, after 60 plus years, it's still a viable option if you run an FAL, or another battle rifle with similar size mags. On mine, the snaps even close on GI style AR-15 magazines. I've got other FAL videos if you want to check those out, uh, like one where I painted this rifle and another one where I test out the camouflage ability of the baby poop camo. Also consider liking this video, and if you made it this far, subscribing. I've got a lot of fun videos planned for the future and I'd love to have you along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.